week marks one year since near historic flooding in South Boston. And Governor Ralph Northam is urging Virginians to purchase flood insurance before a fast approaching deadline. 10 News reporter Coulter Anstad is working for you to find out how to protect your property. This time last year, the intersection of Huell Matthews and Bill Tuck highways at the edge of South Boston was underwater. Some nearby businesses, including Alexa's closet, were partially underwater. We filled up six dumpsters filled, as far as the rollaway dumpsters, filled with stuff that was just unusable that had started molding. Owner April Hodges and her husband did not have flood insurance. They still don't, but have been shopping around. I haven't found anybody reasonable that we can get insurance through. Having insurance would have been nice last year, she says. That would have definitely helped take some of the pain out of the lost inventory. Brian Jones's car dealership had only been open for about a month when the business flooded last year. Oh, I absolutely still have memories, yes. Like Hodges, he did not have flood insurance and still doesn't. He doesn't plan to get any either, but says he has considered the idea. I hope to think it will not get that high again. According to the Federal Emergency Management Agency, floods are the most common and most expensive natural disaster, causing millions of dollars in damage every year. Insurance agencies I spoke to today emphasized that people need to be aware that most insurance policies do not cover floods. Flood insurance has to be purchased separately. The insurance also usually doesn't go into effect until 30 days after it's purchased. In South Boston, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you.